Olumide Oreshegun is known for his hyper-realistic paintings. He's always keeping his audience guessing anytime they see his works of art. And he did not disappoint them during his solo exhibition at My Dream Gallery, Lagos. Revelation is another outing by Olumide Oreshegun, his third actually, at the My Dream Gallery. He has called it hyper-realism because he paints lifelike paintings. Lifelike paintings, you can, if you see the water, he's played around, experimented with the water paintings. And you can see, you can almost feel the water dropping off the paintings. That's how good he is, a good draftsman. Over 30 works of art grace the walls and the issues which he has focused on for many years now remain the same as he captures the plight of the underprivileged children in the society. Revelation simply means something uh, new, something like a surprise for people that have been seeing my work um, uh, since 2011 up to, to now. They are seeing the kind of progression in what I've been doing and what I've been practicing. This graduate of the Yaba College of Technology started painting professionally in 2005. His drawings and paintings are inspired by his environment, mostly using water as a principal theme for his works. God Almighty have given me the kind of mindset to look in my environment, to work closer to what I, um, my environment seeks. So I try to like look in, inward and see how I'm going to create something unique from this, uh, my environment. The lifelike manner of the images makes it difficult to believe they are not photographs. His works takes us back to this high renaissance, the super level of naturalism that the, an artist can attain. And so you find the CNN trying to compare his works with the great masters, the Da Vinci's, Michelangelo, you know, of uh, the Renaissance. And I think that is one unique thing that has happened in the Nigerian history as a whole because it hasn't happened before. He is able to capture the emotion in each activity these children are engaged in, whether they are swimming, bathing, reading or doing other things. An activity that normally goes around um, between grandmother and, and uh, a, a child, you know, majorly the, the woman carrying the baby happens to be the grandmother of the, of the baby. So maybe um, our daughter may, might be walking somewhere closer, but she just kept a little kid with the grandmother. So the grandmother has to like pamper and take care of the baby before uh, as a daughter come back. So it's like working at the same time, doing daycare at the same time for the grandmother. Uh, the innocence on their faces draws the audience into the piece depending on which one catches your fancy. This work behind me is the kind of work that I started while I was, I, I never f think I'm going to finish it the time I finished it because it's something that's so uh, difficult to achieve. So I try to like work harder, more than what I've been doing all this while. So it's a kind of the process that undergoes that really matters, not the finishing. A lot of people see the finishing work, but when they see the artist working in the studio and trying to do something like that, they will feel that it's not going to finish. So it's something that the process that I enjoy more, not the finishing that people see. We see pieces like Beautiful Grey, diverted attention, 
preparation, immersion, quiet gaze, just to mention a few, which he has tagged in simple language. This young artist has several awards under his belt, and from the look of things, there's no stopping him. For quite some time now, we have been having this sensation, and it's a great image for Nigeria and for our cultural tourism, because what we have here, all the great media houses in the world have acclaimed the artists. Why? Because his works takes us back to the high renaissance, the super level of naturalism that the, an artist can attain. As he says, there's still more territory to conquer. In your heart, things don't change suddenly. It's a gradual process. The only thing I can just say that there's an improvement in what I've been doing from the um, past and there's an improvement in what I'm going to be doing in the future. Olumide currently owns an art studio in Ikorodu and is determined to go back and create more revelations so the next time he comes calling, more people will be in awe.